welcome to an English language lesson. This lesson is for Form 1. The textbook we are using is Pass 2. The theme is Have an Environment. The unit is Unit 4, Wild Weather. Before we start, let's look at the learning standards. Here we have many main skills. We have speaking 2.1.1, ask about and give detailed information about themselves and others. Speaking 2.4.1, narrate short stories, events and experiences. Reading 3.1.1, understand the main points in simple longer text. And reading 3.1.2, understand specific details and information in simple longer text. Next, we have... Listening 1.1.1, understand with little or no support the main ideas in simple longer text on a range of familiar topics. Then we have listening 1.1.2, understand with little or no support specific information and details in simple longer text on a range of familiar topics. And the last one, writing 4.1.3, narrate factual and imagined events and experiences. Now let's look at the complementary skills. So we have listening 1.1.1. Understand with little or no support the main ideas in simple longer text on a range of familiar topics. Speaking 2.3.2. Agree on a set of basic steps needed to complete extended classroom tasks. And speaking 2.4.1. Narrate short stories, events and experiences. And then we have reading 3.1.1. Understand the main points in simple longer text. And the last one, writing 4.2.3, produce a plan or draft of two paragraphs or more and modify this appropriately in response to feedback. Dear students, let's look at the world map. So the red color is the part where Siberia is located. Last year, on June 20th, there was high temperature in the town of Siberia, which is northeast of Russia. So it was one of the highest or the hottest climate. So guess what is the degree Celsius? So here you can you also have pictures of how Siberia looks like in different seasons. So what do you think is the temperature? So the answer is, it was 38 degrees Celsius. Dear students, today's lesson, the first one is grammar. The grammar item is past simple and past continuous. Now look at the table, then copy and complete the rules with when and while. So let's look at past continuous and past simple. I was sitting on my bed when I heard a noise. I heard a noise while I was sitting on my bed. So A, we usually use the past simple after. So answer is when. B, we usually use the past continuous after while. Dear okay, students, let's begin with the grammar lesson. Next, the second exercise, make sentences about Jay's family using the past simple and past continuous. For example here, his mom cooked when she hear a shout. So the sentence is, his mom was cooking when she heard a shout. Let's look at number one, his brother eat when the lights go out. So the sentence, his brother was eating when the lights went out. Number two, his dad walked down the street when the ground moved. So answer, his dad was walking down the street when the ground moved. Number three, Jay's sister talked to her friends when somebody shouted earthquake. So Jay's sister was talking to her friends when someone shouted earthquake. Number four, his grandparents watched TV 
when everything fall off the shelves. So the sentence, his grandparents were watching TV when everything fell off the shelves. Next, look at exercise 3. Copy and complete the email with the correct form of the verbs in brackets. So this is the email. Hi Ingrid, we are having lots of adventures on our holiday. While we were staying at a campsite near a river, we had a terrible experience. There was a flood while we were sleeping. When we woke up, we were wet. Hope you're having a good summer. From Jack. Now, it is time for you to express yourself. For in pairs, think of an emergency you have experienced. Ask and answer the questions. So, the emergency could be a fire. What were you doing when it happened? So you can answer, I was in the kitchen frying an egg when the curtain caught fire. What did you do next? I shouted for help. How did you feel when it was happening? I was scared. What did you do afterwards? My mother rushed into the kitchen and poured water on the burning curtain. I helped carry water from the toilet. Unit 3 Grammar in Context Famous Disasters Exercise 6 Dinosaurs were living on Earth when they suddenly disappeared. Many scientists believe that a natural disaster killed them. How many years ago did it happen? A. 5 million B. 15 million C. 65 million. The answer is C. It happened 65 million years ago. In the year 79 AD, there was a terrible volcanic eruption near an Italian city. Many people were trying to escape when they died. Where was it? A. Rome. B. Pompeii C. Venice The answer is B. The volcano was near Pompeii. In September of this year, London was burning. The fire started by accident and it quickly destroyed large areas of the city. What was the year? A. 1444 B. 1555 C. 1666 The answer is C. The Great Fire of London was in 1666. On the 1st of November 1755, a terrible disaster destroyed the beautiful city of Lisbon in Portugal. However, the people rebuilt their city and made it beautiful again. What was the disaster? A. An earthquake B. A tornado C. A flood The answer is A. There was a terrible earthquake in Lisbon. On the 15th of April 1912, a ship was crossing the Atlantic Ocean to the USA when it suddenly hit an iceberg. The ship sank. What was the ship's name? A. The Golden Hind B. The Titanic C. The Santa Maria. The answer is B. The ship was called the Titanic. Dear students, just now you read and also listened to a text on famous disasters.
Now let's look at the answers. Listen and check your answers. So number one, the answer is were living. Number two, disappeared. Number three, 65 million. Number four, when. Number five, Pompeii. Number B is Pompeii. Number four is was. And next we have five quickly. And then we have C, 1,666. And then we have rebuilt. And then we have A, an earthquake. And then we have seven, suddenly. And B, the Titanic. The next part of the lesson will involve integrated skills. Unit 3. Integrated skills. In the news. Exercise 3. Today, it is very cold in Scotland, the north and south of England, and in Wales. Snow is falling and there is deep snow lying in some parts of the country. It is more than one and a half metres deep in some places. There are blizzards in the south of England. The heavy snow has made conditions on the roads very dangerous and many trains are not running. Some roads are blocked by snow while other roads are very icy. The police have asked people not to travel by car if their journey isn't important. Twenty people spent the night in a local sports centre when blizzards on the M25 motorway closed the road. The weather will get better tomorrow, but it will remain very cold until the weekend. Hey students. Match the headlines with the newspaper articles 1, 2 and 3. So let's look at the skill builders first. Matching headings with paragraphs. When trying to match headings with paragraphs, look for words that have similar meanings. For example, photo success has a meaning of has won. So the first article, so the headline is Unlucky students spend night in classroom. Number two is school. Schools close as blizzards continue. And then number three, local girls photo success. Now let's continue with exercise two. Read the articles and answer the questions. Who? Who said he had fun in a difficult situation? Answer is Jamie Banks. Who won something? Answer is Lucy Preston. Who felt happy when she heard some news? Answer is Jessica Watson. Number four, who plans to spend some money? Answer is Lucy Preston. Number five, who didn't expect to have a holiday? Answer is Jessica Watson. Unit 3. Integrated Skills in the news. Exercise 3. Today, it is very cold in Scotland, the north and south of England, and in Wales. Snow is falling and there is deep snow lying in some parts of the country. It is more than one and a half metres deep in some places. There are blizzards in the south of England. The heavy snow has made conditions on the roads very dangerous and many trains are not running. Some roads are blocked by snow while other roads are very icy. The police have asked people not to travel by car if their journey isn't important. Twenty people spent the night in a local sports centre when blizzards on the M25 motorway closed the road. The weather will get better tomorrow, but it will remain very cold until the weekend.
Now let's go through the answers for exercise 3. The first answer is wheels. Number 2 is 1 and a half meters. Number 3 is dangerous. Number 4, trains. Number 5, IC. Number 6, sports center. Number 7, get better. And now let's look at num uh, the task for number 4. Listen again, what have the police asked people to do? So the answer is, the police ask the people not to travel by car if their journey isn't important. Unit 3. Integrated skills. Reacting to news. Exercise 5. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Chris. Guess what happened last night during the storm? I don't know. What happened? Well, I was watching TV when I heard a loud noise. What was it? A huge tree fell down in our street. It fell in our garden. No way! That's terrible news. Was anybody hurt? No. Luckily, everybody was OK. We were all inside because of the awful weather. Great. I'm really pleased about that. Well, I've got some good news too. A reporter from the local TV station came and interviewed us about what happened. I'm going to be on TV tonight. Wow! That's amazing. I'm definitely going to watch it. Let's look at the answers for exercise 5. So the first blank is last night. Number 2 is street. Number 3 is terrible. Number 4 is tonight. And number 5 is amazing. Now let's look at notes for speaking. How do you react to news? You can use words or phrases like what, where, when, why, why not. No way, I can't believe it. That's amazing. That's great news. That's terrible news. I'm really sorry. I'm really pleased. Congratulations. Well done. Now students, you need to choose a news story from exercise 1 or use your own ideas. Then, copy the questions and phrase in the box. Write answers and complete the phrase. So let's look at the story. I'm going to choose the story from exercise 1. Unlucky students spend night in classroom. Let's look at the news. Students and teachers at Grange Secondary School in the village of Hepworth near Dundee were unable to get home last night because heavy snow was blocking the roads. We had to sleep on the floor. It wasn't very comfortable, said. 13-year-old Jamie Banks, but it wasn't all bad. The teachers let us play games on the school computers, Jamie added. So what happened? Students and teachers of Grinch Secondary School slept in the classroom. When did it happen? Last night. Why did it happen? There was heavy snow. How did it happen? The snow blocked the roads. That's an interesting experience. Now the next step is you can prepare a new dialogue. Write both parts. Use your notes from exercise 7 to help you. Hi, Wendy. Guess what happened last night? I don't know. What happened? Students and teachers of Grange Secondary School slept in the classroom. No way. Why did it happen? Last night, there was heavy snow. The snow blocked the roads so all were unable to get home. Yes, it snowed in my town too. That's terrible. How long were you there? Some of the workers from the city council and the local residents came to help. They brought the snow plowing machine. We were able to go home after 2 in the afternoon. Great. I'm really pleased about that. Well, I've got some good news too. 
a reporter from the local TV station came and interviewed us about what happened. We're going to be on TV tomorrow. Wow, that's amazing. I'm definitely going to watch it. Dear students, this is the last part of our lesson for today. It is on writing. Unit 3. Writing. A fictional narrative. Exercise 1. Lost. One day, my friend Rosie and I decided to go for a walk in the mountains. The sun was shining when we set off, but later the weather changed. It was very foggy and we couldn't see where we were going. Soon we were lost. We didn't know what to do. Then I remembered I had my mobile phone in my bag. I tried to phone my dad but my phone wasn't working. By then it was getting dark and we were cold and frightened. Suddenly we heard the sound of a helicopter. We couldn't believe our luck. It was coming to rescue us. Everything was all right in the end, but we learned our lesson. Next time, we'll check the weather forecast before we go for a walk in the mountains. Let's continue the lesson with writing. Let's look at the writing focus. Sequencing words and expressions. We use the following words and expressions to show the order in which events happened. One day, Sam woke up early and went swimming. Soon, it was time for breakfast. Then, he went back to the campsite. By then, his family were eating. Later, they all went to the beach. In the end, he stayed at the beach until 10 p.m. So here, let's look at the second exercise. Look again at the writing focus. How do you say the words and phrases in your language? Let's continue. Now read the story again and answer the questions about sequencing words and phrases. Question 1. Which phrase often goes at the beginning of a story? So answer is one day. Which phrase often goes at the end of the story? The answer is in the end. Number 3. Which phrase is often followed by the past continuous? Answer is by then. Number 4. What tense do we usually use with the other words? Answer is the past simple. Now rewrite the sentences with the words in the correct position. More than one answer is possible. Let's look at the first one. She soon was tired, so she sat down to have a rest. We can write soon she was tired, so she sat down to have a rest. Number two, Sam didn't want to go on the trip, but he, in the end, enjoyed it. You can write, Sam didn't want to go on the trip, but in the end, he enjoyed it. 
Number three, I was feeling by then hungry because it was lunch time. You can write by then I was feeling hungry because it was lunch time. Number four, it went cloudy and it started then raining. You can write it went cloudy and then it started raining. Let's get the writing task. Write a fictional narrative about an eventful day trip. So the plan, think of an idea for your story, then make notes. Who is it about? You or somebody else? How will the story begin and end? Write. So remember, you write three paragraphs, an introduction, the main part of the story and the end. Then check your writing. Try to use past simple and past continuous verbs and also sequencing words. So here, remember, you have to write an event full day trip. And the character, are you in a story or is it a story about somebody else? And remember to use past simple, past continuous and also the sequencing words. Yes, students. Let's look at the model answer on the next slide. My cousin Desmond, who works as a forest ranger, took me along on one of his trips into the jungle. I had always wanted to experience for myself what he had always spoken about. As we entered the jungle, darkness was slowly enveloping us. The sky was almost completely shut out by the canopy of leaves high above us. At ground level, thick vegetation grew in every direction. The air was damp and had a peculiar smell to it. All around us were the sounds of insects, birds, and animals. We trudged further and Desmond told me that we were following a path used by the indigenous people. Then, for the first time in my life, I began to see strange insects, trees, and vines as thick as a man's hand and various birds as well as monkeys. The experience was unforgettable. I was awestruck by the might of nature. When we emerged from the jungle, I felt as though a great weight had been lifted from me. The clear blue sky was a welcome sight. It was a good experience but I would prefer to remain outside it. Thank you for watching my video. Do remember to subscribe to my channel. It is called Educator Omni Tube. I hope you have enjoyed my lesson for today. So I'm Madam Gun signing off. See you again. Bye bye.